Cyberverse Adventures, come and join the fun. Voice activated play. Voice activated. Lights. Optimus. I've seen this movie before. kind of works. Talking to a Prime and having him talk back is kind of the dream, right? Artemis, why is your face a Decepticon symbol? Batteries not included. Be right back. Oh, me oh my. This is, this is a big boy Prime. Like, he is not messing around. Such clean lines on him and stuff. Like, gimmicks aside, first impressions out the box. I really like him. Um, any any long time watchers will know that a year or so ago, maybe a bit longer, I got the Spark Armor Arc Optimus, and um, I was really underwhelmed with that. He broke. I ended up taking him back. He had that whole like molded knees thing, but without actual knees. And then along comes Battle Call Optimus. Articulation wise, he's got separate hip skirts, so you get a lot of forward. He can kick all the way out. Then he's got a thigh swivel as well. And boom, knee joint down to about 90. He does have a waist swivel, but to have him fully transformed, you're meant to peg this back piece in and that limits that waist articulation because it's really just like left over from transformation. We move up top, these shoulders are on like a bowl joint. You don't get a huge amount of clearance just because of, you know, the sculpting, but you get quite a bit out of there. You can go all the way around, get reasonably out to the side, reasonably, and then a pretty good elbow as well. And bicep swivel. No wrist swivel because of transformation. But uh, for a figure this size with gimmicks, that's um, some pretty, pretty good articulation in my opinion. This is the first Cyberverse figure I've seen at this sort of scale that's capable of throwing these kind of shapes. Like it would have been amazing to be able to get an ankle tilt or pivot or something in there. But given that that's not the point of him, I'm, I'm impressed. Because of the nature of the plastic as well and the sculpt, he just throws out some really, really clean lines. Like I honestly, I almost feel like I'm looking at a cell shaded image. Like, especially on the background, he just really pops. He just feels so much like Optimus should feel. Like, he's he's hitting on all the really important design cues. So, being the big bot that he is, he's absolutely laden with action features. But before we get into that, where all the real fun and gimmickry gets into it, I thought we should take a quick look at transformation in his vehicle mode. All right, I'm gonna do my best to transform him all on screen. It's um, it's a tall order because he's huge. But here we go, let's see how we go. So you just wanna come around, we'll get into all of this business a little bit later, but you just wanna unpeg this base bit. So that's free and loose. And you can go ahead and rotate the whole waist around. Click them heels together, there's no place like home. You can go ahead and fold that down into place. Now the arms, we just wanna flip that down. Fold the hand in like that. Same on the other side. Flippity twist flip. And then real G1 flavor. Fold that arm back and get this around to fill in the sides. Because of the bowl joints and the action feature, it can be a little persnickety, but um, you know, it's not too bad. Same deal over this side. Just fold that arm up, get that shoulder back around. Give that the old twister roo as you do, and it'll all clip together pretty well. Then just this front plate, it's got that clip there, these ones here, get that up and over, click it in. You can see just where the fists sit underneath. And that's pretty well it, aside from his head. Now, getting that head away really does make it feel like 
you're doing something wrong. So it needs to fold down, but it doesn't really wanna fold down without setting that feature off. So then you kind of fold this forward and it's, you gotta hold and push it back so it goes down enough oh, to get that cover on. A little bit confused about why you do black paint apps instead of silver for the smokestacks, but that ain't no big thing. Real cyberversy looking. So yeah, there we have Battle Coal Optimus in his vehicle mode. It's pretty good. They really lucked out with how much Optimus just lends himself to basically this transformation. It's like every Optimus can more or less, if it wants to, if it's being, you know, the flat face truck, pretty well just be this. There's that new trend of having, you know, the grill and the fender be a faux fender. I don't really care. This is awesome. Turning into a Tetris piece on wheels isn't what makes this figure special. What makes this a standout Optimus Prime, in my opinion, is his action features and the battle call stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get him back into robot mode and have a look at that, shall we? So, this is the big show. This is where things start to get really cool with this Optimus. It comes with this awesome sword and shield. That look really cool. They're giving me kind of like Omega Lock vibes, if I'm honest. But when you pull out the sword, it activates the shield into its spiky shield mode. Let's go ahead and put that on his arm. Like a, I guess it's like a bit like Iaconus's, where it's like a blaster or a shield or whatever, lady thing. I don't know. It's cool. Um, what's super rad is this big badass sword, which I'm pretty sure again is a five millimeter pegged one. So theoretically, anyone could hold it. <laughs> That's hard not to like, right? I always knew RC had guts. Get it? Doesn't end there. He has a switch on his shoulder that you turn on to activate his electronics. This is Optimus Prime. Hey Optimus, how you doing? Complete the mission. I'll do my best. Decepticons. What about them? Whoa, Prime, I think you got the wrong guy, man. I'm not, I'm not him. I'm not Megatron. Now, tell me that's not dope as. In the name of the What's really cool is while he's on, he'll still talk. Optimus? We must stop Autobots. Our fight is not over. Right? How cool is that, that his voice is different? So, from what I can gather from the instructions, if you speak for three seconds, then he'll flip on his armor. He has so many different things that he says. What else you got, buddy? Autobots. What? Excellent. I agree. Time to activate my spark armor. And if you want, you can kind of leave it open on his back so that he's got like little wings if you really wanted to. Let's get it from a little further away. Optimus. We have come for the Allspark. You can have it. It's yours. Bumblebee, follow me. I'm I'm Cliff Jumper. Could you not just do this all day? Autobots, shields up. Time to engage my spark armor. The Matrix of Leadership. Boom. Here he is next to uh, um, fellow Spark Armor Bra, Iaconus. These were, at least in Australia, when I got them, these were the exact same price point. And whilst his Automorph thing is kind of cool, Optimus is just so much cooler. Just so much cooler. Way more play value, an actual like poseable toy. Like if you're looking at the two of them and like, mm, which one do I get? Unless you're actively chasing an Iaconus. Like if you don't already have a Prime, Man, is this the prime for you? Now, I am lucky enough to have another talking prime. What 
There's something so cool about Optimus speaking Japanese. Now, it is my hope that we can get them to talk to each other. If you just want to have an awesome prime to smash about with, like, this is your bro. And then if you want to freak people out and kick it up a notch, that's pretty easy too. This is Optimus Prime. We know it is, buddy. What do you say? Do you say anything? This is Optimus Prime. Hello. Oh. Hello, what? Optimus Prime. Oh! <laughs> Man, this figure is just such a fantastic example of when you can add a gimmick to a line and not have it affect your play value at all. Let's go ahead and flick that switch. Hello? This is Optimus Prime. Hey Optimus, I've, I've been looking forward to this my whole life. Ooh.